I talk about this concept of creating before we consume. And as soon as I stopped watching the morning news, it just allowed me to form my own thoughts and to create from an internal place rather than creating from fear or not being able to create at all because my mind was so distracted with everything that was going on in the world. Most people are creative two or three hours after they wake up. So it's really important to utilize this time wisely. Welcome to the Being in a Band podcast. I'm your host, Monica Strutt, and I'll be your new band bestie as we deep dive into all things music marketing, PR and strategy, as well as the mindset it takes to succeed in today's modern music industry. I know the highs and lows of being a musician, and I've seen far too many of my talented peers give up on their dreams far too early in their careers. After working for years, both as a musician and professional digital marketer specializing in the music industry, I now help emerging bands break through the glass ceiling and reach the next level in their careers. Let's do this. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Being in a Band podcast. We are on day three of trying to do a podcast every single day this week. So, so far, so good. Today, I wanted to talk to you about the importance of a morning routine, especially when a lot of us are either working from home or maybe, unfortunately, we've been retrenched. And yeah, I I really think it's important to have a morning routine and to keep it consistent, even if we are spending more time than usual at home. So I'm going to run through my morning routine and I'm going to also go through some ways that you can adapt it to suit maybe your interests and uh, what works for you. I've done a lot of trial and error when it comes to morning routines. So, and I, I don't keep it the same all the time as well. I do typically change it up, which I'll go through in a second, but... When we are spending more time at home, it really is easy to become demotivated, to fall into the trap of staying in our pajamas all day, watching Netflix, just scrolling on social media. And to be honest right now, that is absolutely not the healthiest thing that we can be doing with everything that's going on in the news right now. By the way, um, I've got a little bit of a cold. If my voice sounds um, a bit stuffed up, I do apologize about that, but I'm committed to getting you a podcast per day. So I'm going to plow ahead. Um, But yeah, I mean, spending more than 20 minutes, I would say scrolling on social media a day with all the shit that people are posting about is just really not going to be healthy for our mental health. Sure. You can check the news. You can check in maybe in the afternoon, see what's going on. You can speak to family members, but as much as possible, especially for creatives, I am a firm believer that we absolutely cannot be checking the news, especially in the morning. And especially if you're doing it multiple times a day, it's very detrimental to our mental health especially right now. I mean, I uh, used to watch the morning news every single morning and I realized that I would just feel so depressed afterwards and I would just feel so worried and anxious. I talk about this concept of creating before we consume. And as soon as I stopped watching the morning news, it just allowed me to form my own thoughts and to create from an internal place rather than creating from fear or not being able to create at all because my mind was so distracted with everything that was going on in the world. So typically when I wake up, the first thing I will do is I will make a coffee. I am not a morning person and I am not someone who wakes up at 4.30 in the morning and is super, super productive really early on. I mean, good on you if that's you, but that has never been me. It probably will never be me. I've always been a night owl, um, although lately I've kind of trained my body clock um, so that I am waking up around 8.30. And yeah, so I, I don't wake up super early, but the first thing I need is a coffee. I cannot live without coffee. I don't care how many health benefits there are from giving up coffee. I love it. It makes me happy. I'm Italian. So I don't know if coffee just runs through my blood. I also live in Melbourne, which has amazing, amazing cafes. And we have really, really good coffee down here. I just love it. I enjoy it. Don't even try and take that away from me. So yeah, first thing I do, I grab a coffee and I do a practice called morning pages. I've spoken about morning pages before on the podcast, um, back a few episodes when I was talking about mental health and mindset. Um, morning pages is essentially when you write three pages or write for 20 minutes. First thing in the morning, as soon as you wake 
up. It's basically like a brain dump. It doesn't have to make any sense. If you don't know what to write, you can write, you know, I'm enjoying my coffee right now. You can use it to write a gratitude list. You can use it to kind of plan out your day, but essentially you just want to free write whatever is coming to your head. Don't worry about spelling, grammar, making it look neat. It's literally a brain dump, as I said, and that kind of helps you start the day with a clean slate. And for me, it really helps my writing muscle. So especially as a lyricist, it really helps me um, sort of get ideas from my brain onto paper a lot smoother. And it is a muscle. So just working that muscle every single day helps my creativity and it also helps my mental health and mental well-being as well. The next thing I do, I do one of two things. I will either go for a walk or move my body in some way, whether that be just yoga in the lounge room or just some stretches. But lately I've been sort of using that time to do some personal development instead. I mean, sometimes I'll go for a walk and I'll listen to a podcast or an audio book on a subject that I'm interested in or, you know, something to do with business or the music industry, something like that. Um, So I can do both at the same time. But lately I have just been, you know, using using my afternoons to reset and like move my body, go for a walk, get some fresh air. Then obviously keeping physical distancing in mind. I luckily live in the suburbs. So when I do go for a walk around my neighborhood, there's typically no one else around, which is great. So just be mindful of that. But yeah, lately, as soon as I've like done my morning pages, I'll dive into some personal development or educational content through a podcast or audio book, as I've mentioned, or, you know, a video from one of my mentors, a lot of my mentors and, um, you know, my current business coach and just people that I look up to online and follow their journey, um, in the music industry and in the business world. Um, you know, usually they've done like a live or I'll just watch some of their stories where they're giving some tips and whatnot. So I'll kind of, um, use that time to upskill or work on my mindset and try and put me in a good state to continue on throughout the day. I'll usually be doing that um, while I'm eating breakfast or while I'm getting ready. And that's my next point. Every single morning, it's really, really important to get dressed as if you were leaving the house. Now, that doesn't mean wearing super tight and restrictive clothing. You can still be comfortable at home, but like I know a lot of people that will still wear shoes inside their house or like high heels because it just makes them feel good. For me, I am usually in slippers, but I will absolutely put on like clothes that I would normally wear outside the house. I will do my makeup and do my hair every single day because I know that if I feel like I look good, I feel good on the inside as well. And it just makes me feel more awake, more present. And it also practically, because I have a personal brand and I need to be showing my face on social media every single day, I'm more likely to do that if I have makeup on and if I'm dressed rather than me slumping around in my pajamas. I definitely don't use that as an excuse. If I haven't shown my face on social media in a while, I will just, um, you know, show my face with no makeup on and in my pajamas if I have to, um, because showing up for my audience is my number one priority, especially during this time. Um, but yeah, most of the time I love makeup anyway. Um, but if you don't wear makeup, then that could just be, you know, just putting on like jeans and a shirt and a belt or whatever you would normally wear outside the house and doing your hair and just making yourself, um, yeah, look good and feel good. So next, while I've done my personal development and um, I've had breakfast and gotten ready, I typically do all of that at the same time. As I just said, I will put my phone away and I will start creating. Usually like before doing the personal development, I will quickly check my social media. Literally, I will only reply to messages, comments, um, and tweets that I've been tagged in and that sort of thing. I don't scroll at all. I simply take 15 minutes in the morning to reply to people. And I recommend that you do that as well, whether that be just to your friends and family, so they know you're all right, or whether that be from your band's page, um, replying to any comments or messages that may have come in. I kind of just like while I'm getting ready, while I'm listening to a podcast, I would quickly just, um, yeah, check my social media and make sure I'm replying. I did forget to mention that, but afterwards I will put my phone away and I will start creating. Most people are creative two or three hours after they wake up. So it's really important to utilize this time wisely. For me, I'm building a membership right now. So what I'm going to be working on today after this podcast is building out the, um, 
masterclasses and modules as part of this membership. So when the people that join the membership sign up, they have content and lessons there straight away that they can dive into. And I'm going to be um, brainstorming how I can make the content that I'm creating now that they'll have access straight away because this membership is launching in a couple of weeks. How can I make it really relevant to the music scene right now and the way that the world is? Because I want to make sure that people are supported straight away. If you are interested in the membership, it's called the Being in a Band membership. And I've left the link to sign up to the wait list in the show notes below. If you can't see the link, then just um, DM me on Instagram at Monica Strutt or click on my link tree in my Instagram bio, and that will take you straight through to the sign up form. I am giving the first few people to sign up a bunch of bonuses, including free access to some of my courses and consulting sessions with me. And this membership is going to be really, really affordable for musicians. I was going to put out a course and typically my courses are, you know, a couple of hundred dollars, but I really wanted this membership to be very affordable for bands, probably less than the cost of what you spend on Uber Eats per month, um, way less, I would say. And um, yeah, but I still wanted to be able to help people during this time when musicians are confused about how to move their bands forward. So that's what I'm working on. But for you, it may be songwriting. It may be figuring out your social media content strategy for your band. And you may like to record some short videos on the meanings behind some of your songs that you've recently put out. Um, Think about, you know, what kind of content you can be creating right now to keep your online presence up during this time. And yeah, I mean, as I said, you could be just songwriting, you could be recording demos, you could be, um, you know, taking this time to write a book or just creating anything. Use that time first few hours after you wake up to create and make sure you're doing that before you consume anything on social media, before you consume any news. Very, very important. So that's pretty much my morning routine. After that, I will then um, probably dive into some emails um, and, you know, try and smash out some other work. But yeah, I, I do my best in the mornings to do everything that I can to feel good and to feel centered. You may like to meditate in the mornings. Um, that is something that I used to do. I now meditate usually before I go to sleep because as I said, I'm a night owl. So it takes a lot for me to fall asleep. I have a whole nighttime routine as well. If you want to hear about that, or at least a nighttime routine I'm trying to stick to. Um, So if you want that, please let me know. But I think that now more than ever, especially when a lot of us are working from home or we've lost our jobs and we are feeling a bit kind of um, uncertain and uncentered, then having a solid morning routine and adding that routine into your day is really, really important. Not only creating structure, but also just making yourself feel good. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please tweet me or send me an Instagram DM. As I said, if you're interested in signing up to my membership, the link is down below. And um, also, if you're not a member of my free Facebook group, it's Music Marketing and Mindset for Heavy Bands and Musicians, then the link is down below to join that as well. It's completely free. I do masterclasses there every now and then. And um, it's just a really cool, like-minded community of around 500 musicians right now, which is awesome. So if you've got any questions about like, your music career or marketing or anything you can post it in the group and myself in the community will get back to you have a good day guys and i'll speak to you soon bye